okay, now that we've got this running locally, we've tested it, or at least locally inside the Google Cloud environment, next, let's actually deploy it somewhere so anybody can access it. So I'm gonna stop this server running in the foreground, and then I'm going to run a command called gcloud app deploy. So what this does is it bundles up everything that's in this local directory and pushes it over to Google Cloud. It's gonna ask us for permission. Do you really wanna do this? And look, it even shows you all of the different aspects of the application and shows you what the target URL is gonna be. So we're gonna remember that uh, because we're gonna to wanna to access that. So I'm gonna just kinda of tee this up here, put it there, and you see it's got the project ID and this is a unique project ID. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and say yes. There we go. Uh, now it's going to go ahead and begin this uh, deployment process, uploading uh, 934 files to Google Cloud Storage. Okay, let's look at what happened. This output is really important to pay attention to. So one of the most important parts is this section here, right, where it shows you that the service itself was deployed to this route. A second really important thing to pay attention to is that you can also tail the log files, right? So you can actually look at what's happening just like if, if it was remote. So we're gonna do both things. So first, uh, I'm going to go through here and I'm going to grab this section and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to put it into this web browser. And now you can see that uh, I can actually run this uh, and access it from another location in the Google Cloud environment, right? So here we go. Uh, hello, I like to make AI apps. So this is running uh, in, the, in the wild. And next, I also can go and I can tail these log files and we can look at what's actually happening on that remote server. So if I highlight gcloud app logs tail dash s default, now it's gonna run in foreground mode. It's gonna wait for log intrusive to show up. Every time I run this, I run a couple, a few of these, uh, it's actually gonna populate some log files. There we go. And you can see that it shows that in fact it is being called remotely and I can actually um, get back the, the 200 response code. So really that's how you deploy something to um, uh, the Google Cloud environment and also how you would log and look at what's happening so you get a good uh, view of actually your production server.